are you doing my friends welcome to take three of me trying to do this video uh well it, it's friday people it's friday and on fridays i like to do some deck tech videos of magic the gathering arena showing you that there are other decks that you can be making and playing with and having a good time and still actually climb the ladder but this is, like I said, the third time I'm trying to do this video, because the first time, I forgot to unmute my mic. The second time, just everything conceivably that could go wrong in-game did. And now three, here we are. Uh, yeah, so uh, for those of you that know, the last two weeks uh, I, since M20 came out, I've been doing, I did a Hydra's deck. Uh, I did a Dragon's deck, and now we are combining those two forces to make Hydwas and Dwagons. That is the name of today's deck. It's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Or we'll get three losses in a row, and I don't care. We're uploading the video because I just want to show you what the deck can do. Now, I would like you to know the first time I filmed this, when the mic was muted, I won. I won three out of four games, and one of them uh, was actually against Control, and we were playing in Ranked, uh, and it, it did it. It was great. It was a wonderful video, and it'll never be that good again because that's the curse of YouTube. Uh, for those of you that don't know me or who I am or what I do, I'm the Jovenshire. Welcome to the Jovenshire channel where we cover all things video games, comic books, TV shows, superheroes, all things geeky here in one little place, including some Magic the Gathering Arena where I've also started doing a Versus series against uh, some of my friends and other MTG creators out there, so uh, go check that out. I think uh, Sohinky was this week. Uh, I have MTG Jeff coming up next week and uh, Laser Corn after that, but let me know who else I should play with with that being said I need <laughs> pray for me people <sighs> from the future as you watch this video pray for me now in the present that I can actually get some wins and show you what this deck can do let's jump into the game all right uh, so here is uh, Dwagons and Hydwas as you can see you've probably all noticed I've had some fun fun names for some of these uh, the decks in the past and uh, you know top comment or, or just any good comments if you want to rename any of these decks I absolutely will change the deck names according to what you guys leave comments for so uh, here's Dwagons and Hydwas so uh, it's all about ramping up into some big dragons it is in the uh, Temer colors though we are just kind of splashing in blue for uh, Hydroid Crassus which May or may not be. It's a good card. You gain life and you draw cards. I think it's a good thing. I did recently, uh, in the second time trying to film this video, I added in Vivian. Because between Vivian, Domri, and uh, Voracious Hydra here, it's all about uh, doing combat damage and being able to kill any creatures that might be causing you uh, some pain. Uh, I do have a sideboard if I'm dealing with any control that I can grab with Vivian. All of which dinosaurs. So, you know, it's dragons and hydras and dinos. Oh my. <laughs> Oh god, I hope this video works just so I can say that. Um, Alright, we have two um, Dragon uh, Seth uh, Ma of Flames running three Gargos. I actually uh, got a third. I, I used a wild card to get a third Gargos because I think he's pretty good. I kind of want to have three Dragon Seth just to be able to play him. Um, we, we are running this and this is good. It's good ramp. Uh, we got some Lana War Elves. We used to run the uh, the Grazer to put an extra land out, but I think Paradise Druid is better. Um, we are running two hung uh, Hungarian Hydras, not Hungarian Hydras, because they can just get stronger. They're really good against um, uh, red deck wins, actually. Um, some more ramp here. Uh, I, now, this is a card that I recently started toying around with. I like it. Yeah, it's a 3-3 flying for 5. So the numbers aren't fantastic there, but you do get two treasure tokens, which help us ramp into our bigger guys. Uh, and if it's just, if, if we need that third red, maybe it can get us that, or the third green, which is always helpful. All right, let's, uh, let's jump in and see what dragons and hydras and dinos, oh my, can do. All right, for the sake of my sanity, I wanted to play casual, but I, I just clicked really quickly, and we're doing ranked. So we're playing against Jay Humble. Jay Humble! Uh, not the ramp that I'd want to see. But we do have a turn three Domre currently, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, I'm going first, so there's that. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. Um, but being able to ramp up into uh, a turn four Nissa would be wonderful. Then able to really pump up those Hydras down there would be fantastic. I don't know, like, the more I think about it, the more I wonder if, like, this is the way to go in this deck, because, like, you you want to leave the land open to attack, but that you don't always get that, that opportunity if, you, um, if you're if you trying to, like, put out these bigger Hydras. She's just good, why would I say no? 
something I can also maybe play in maybe a Karn's Bastion. Oh, there's the fourth land. We got to Okay, if this survives, he might be holding on to a negate. No no negate. All right, we are currently looking at a turn 4. Uh turn 4 Nissa. And also by using his mana to produce some of these uh these creatures, they can't be countered. Oh, well, that's a thing. You know, a fun fact, he's actually one of the main characters in the War of the Spark uh, novelization. Alright, let's get that Nissa down because she she tapped. Or, or Jay Humble be tapped. So we're going to turn uh, our Hindalin Harbor into a creature. Just in case if it dies, it's not one of my forests that's actually getting, um, getting pegged. So let's just uh, attack in there. That's fine. Uh, he also has, uh, that guy gives him hexproof, but I don't think there's anything in this deck that targets a player. Oh no! My Nyssa! Drat! Anything to support my allies. Drat. Alright, that's not, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. Let's go ahead and... Jeez, oh, jeez, oh jeez, Rick. Yeah, let's just do it. Not much more you can do. Let's go for face. Uh, again, I'm not really targeting anything. I was, I attacked the planeswalker the first time just to see maybe if I could stop that from happening, but I didn't. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and make this guy. Uh, we'll tap three, and we're just gonna go ahead and double up on him. There's nothing there to attack. Now we've seen that he's. Oh, jeez, I messed up. I should have used this land. Oops. Oops, he would have been just slightly bigger. What are you going to do? Um, so, small misplay there, but like I said, we're looking at Esper. I, yeah, I'm expecting just he and Pop that Hydra back. Sure, that's fine. Uh, we will still be able to kill it. Uh, so, let's go ahead and attack first. We're going to do this all the right way this time. Now we might not have the uh, ferocious Hydra, but we do got we, we do've got we do've got um, uh, this guy is a five five. There it is. Look at that. I'm expecting a board wipe of sorts. The trick is I, I playing against control. You kind of just want to make sure that you are. Um, Bringing the heat each turn, essentially. Let's see what he does. Um, Alright, so we've got... I had to discard a card. That was pretty easy for me to do. He could still have a castaway. Ooh! Okay. And that's going to pop back into his hand. Uh, having cards in my hand, as of now, is not a great thing. Because... He's just going to make me get rid of stuff, which which is sad. Oh, all right. So let's go ahead and attack the face. We swing in big. We swing in big. Now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, not that he can counter him, but... So one, two... Uh, this is a four, four. And I'm... Oh, I'm drawing two. Okay, that's not bad. Because now, if... Shoot, maybe I should have kept that in my hand. I may have misplayed that just in case if he does exactly what he just did again. I might be losing my Verocious Hydra. Because when he plays the um, uh, Disinformation campaign, I, I lose this. And then from there, I'm going to lose this. But also at the same time, if that's all he tries to do, I've got Lethal on the board. So he needs to, he needs a board wipe right now. So he's probably looking for a Kaya's Wrath. In which case, Verocious still hits next turn. Is it a good game? Uh, that, okay. None of my guys have the hasties. Let's go ahead and, um, maybe this is the right way to go. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this is the good way to go. Okay, so, oh shoot, I messed up again. Uh, okay, we can kind of cancel this out by making that an insane amount and then canceling. So, uh, nope, cancel. Let's just go ahead and attack the face. Like so. Bing, bing. 
and then we will go ahead and uh, nope shoot almost messed up again cancel now we can go ahead and geez where is my head today if you see me drinking coffee right now it's because I keep messing up uh, so now it, it's we're still doing the same amount or gaining the same amount now at least we get a tap five again lethal still on board we're gonna keep that land in hand got got our mod the flame which is nice and one two three four five six technically enough land is here in order to that is a ranked game we, we start oh my god we gotta win hallelujah we're doing it <laughs> all right so this deck just beat a control deck in ranked so if you don't mind i'm gonna move to to casual just to keep things fun and easy uh for the sake of having a decent video let's see if we can get I, if we can get Two more wins, fantastic. One more win, I think we've still proved that the deck does well. Uh, it's a good base. It's, it's a fun deck, and no one else is playing it right now. There's definitely some changes you can make. Maybe, um, I think in Battle of Three, it's probably fantastic, because that's when you get to throw in those uh, the sideboard cards uh, more. Uh, you also maybe can throw in some more uh, creature hate in there as well. All right. Uh, Satchel. Shuck. 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 Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Again, not the ramp I want to see. Almost to the point where I don't know if I keep this particular hand. I'm going to have to take two. Uh, your opponent goes first. There is no more drawing with the London Mulligan. Is that drawing? Yeah, yeah, he's still drawing. Okay, we're, we're going to keep. Well, we're going to have to take two in order to pull off uh, Growth Spiral. Nope. Okay, we're just taking a lot of damage, actually. We're we're ramping. I see a Hydroid Crisis with a blue in hand, so I don't mind taking too much life because I can kind of heal myself up. All right, he he be he be ramping. Uh, okay, we're switching things up a little bit. We are going. We're uh, we're at we're going to try to out ramp his ramp right now. Because one, two, three, four, five, uh, and he won't be able to be countered either. What? Simic being Simic? I love seeing that. I'm all for whatever he's about to do. You go, you. You be the best you you can possibly be. All right. Um. Yeah, that's that's going to um. Let's let's start making making moves, making win and moves. We're gonna add that red. We won't answer our we get the Scargan Hellkite down. All right, so we got the plus one plus one counter on him. We aren't jumping in for too much damage too quickly, and that's that's okay. I could I could destroy this thing, which is kind of good for me because he's gonna have a lot of mana coming up. Um, one two three four. Five, six, yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to pop his guy and then also do a growth spiral. Because it just looks necessary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not, not much more he can do right now, I think. I, I'm i worried. I'm drastically worried. Because if he's playing fun Simic, there's like, um, oh, a biogenic upgrade would, uh, would ruin me right now. So, let's go ahead and start off with a little bit of this, and a lot of bit of that. We're going to just pop that guy. Bink. Oh, you know what? We aren't, we aren't going to grow the spiral right now. We're we are just going to kill his ramp. He's, okay, he's got a, I think he's got a little bit. Unless he has the card, wow, unless he has the card that... Drat! I'm, I'm actually okay that he's wasted that. Okay. Let's go to minus two here and fight this guy. Do you got another one? Oh, nope! Has that has worked out perfectly for me. Uh, though I do not have the, uh, I don't have the open mana to, to do growth spiral, which is unfortunate. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am showing six, and that is like the minimum I like to do Hydroid Crassus at. Hydroid Cressy. What did it just do? Stop doing that. Uh, the next target creature. 
No, no, that's fine. Activated ability, okay. That's fine. All of which is fine. So he's back down to five mana, which I'm better off with. Again, biogenic upgrade. If people play it, things get out of control real fast. Uh, is this just a fight card? Put a pl Okay. I'm a fan of, of Simic and the plus one, plus one counter stuff. I can... I can kill that in a big way and have some fun with it. Or I can just go really, 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 really big. So let's go ahead and add a green. And uh, this is going to, just in case if he has a, a frilled mystic, or a thrilled mystic. Um, one, two, three. So we're only paying three mana. No, we aren't. We're paying four mana. One, two, three, four. And uh, we could kill that, but we're just gonna we're gonna double the plus amount of plus one plus one counters on me. Woohoo! And we be attacking. I've got dragons and I've got hydwas. Again, I'm holding on to that growth spiral, like it means something to me. But again, we can kind of just we're probably gonna win this game. Just, again, when you're dropping something that you have to deal with every single turn. Okay, you got a 6-6. Six, six. That's fine. Uh, GG, my friend. Good game. Uh, yeah, because I could have trampled through. Uh, Hydrid Crasses would have just uh, been more of a BM to play it. There's two wins. Uh, we'll move back to ranked now just to see if we can get that lucky again. We have two wins showing you how the deck works and how it ramps up. <laughs> Let's move to ranked and see what happens. And those were the last words he ever said confidently ever again. All right, I just had to cut out a game because uh, they dropped out and it just um, it had a rope twice. Well, it sucks because my hand was great, but this hand is not bad. That's a turn three Vivian. That's not bad, I guess. Um, I would like to draw a land. Uh, in the in the process of all this, I don't. Ha I'm not showing a blue, but also don't need that blue yet. So, oh no. Oh no. Oh, hey, look, it's a blue. All right, let's get Paradise Druid down there. I actually played against uh, um, a red deck where it was all about attacking the creatures with power one or less, and there was uh, what is it? it's Chandra's Phoenix. Is it it's some some Chandra's Elemental? I don't know. There's a card that if you took non-creature damage, it got like plus two, plus oh or something. And with all of its 1-1 one, one creatures out, it actually wound up growing up to be like a 13-3 a and then swung in for lethal. And I was like, oh, nice deck. Well, let's see what he does. I'm Hexproof, which is decent. I've got the mana uh, actually to be able to do Vivian right now, which is pretty good. And she will be tapped out, and I have to assume... Oh, man, I almost don't want to put Vivian down yet. What? What? Why? Sacrifice Goblin Adam. Okay. Um, I kind of want to... Jeez. Oh, I kind of... How do I want to play this? I, I think... I'm not going to play Vivian yet. Or I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna play Vivian yet. Because I don't want if, if I do it, not only does that tap Paradise Druid and then takes away the hexproof, but then just leaves her open for the four damage that's gonna come in. Oh my god. Alright. Mm, not great. Not great. Um Jeez, I'm taking so much damage next turn. Because right now it's five, and if I do it, it'll be three, four, five. Uh, I gotta let it through. God damn. It, maybe we don't. Yeah, maybe we do Vivian. All right, let's see. All right, I got the double green with Paradise. So, and the reason I played that mountain is because the mountain isn't something I mind losing. So it's it's vigilance. We'll attack just to get the damage in. Because he's not gonna he's not gonna block. Alright, this is this is a rough matchup. Uh Vivian next turn will actually help me kill one of those creatures. Uh 
Okay. Um. Jeebus! Alright, this just gives me... Okay, this isn't bad. 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 It's a little bad. It's a little bad. It's... It's a lot of bad, actually. Um... He had the one open. Groovy. Okay, not good, not good. Uh, but we got rid of one of them, so that's nice. Uh, if we do this... Okay, hold on. What exactly does she say? Target creature you control deals combat damage equal to... Okay, great. It's not actually a fight card. So we're going to go ahead and uh, drop this here. Drop this there. I'm still going to lose Vivian next turn, but at least now we're starting to maintain the field a little bit. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, not attacking, because we can kill one of those two and still put down a... I'm taking two damage regardless next turn. Um... Let's see what he does. He's got, he has cards in hand. You got to give him that. Man, having two of those down uh, early game was, was rough for me to deal with. There's still chances. Like, if I get Ferocious, Hy or Ferocious Hydra, I feel a little bit more confident. Oh, boy, it's a goblin deck. And that is... Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay. Take six. I'm taking a lot of damage next turn. I can't kill. I might as well kill that. Yeah, not looking great. Not looking great. Oh, boil. Guys, I think I might have lost this one. Because next turn it is. Yeah, that's a good game. All right, hey, you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. You're going to win some, and you're going to lose some. So, we're going to end on a loss, and I'm not... I'm okay with that. That was that was, that was a fun goblin deck you got to see there. Um, against the Hydwas, they... They... He, the fact that he had two of that card uh, kind of threw me off there. But that is my Dwagons and Hydwas deck. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video today. Again, if you are new and you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you guys haven't already, please turn up for notifications because that is an easy uh, and, and great way to help support the channel without, you know, having to spend a dime. Though I am looking into merch for those of you uh, that are, are interested. Uh, that'll be a thing in the near future. But that's what we did today. We, we, we uh, played some Magic the Gathering Arena. We did uh, Dwagons and Hydwas. I have a new video up that went up this week about um, uh, my Versus series. And I only got two videos out this week, and I really apologize for that. There was supposed to be a third video, but we're waiting for some approvals. So uh, more content coming back next week. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, guys, I'll see you later.